function of this presentation is going to be understanding the risks that we actually face. And I'm, I'm going to try and give you a um, maybe a, a, an understanding beyond the obvious, I think is, is my intention here, to some of the things that we, we may not consider every day when we're doing our, our sort of day jobs. Um, that there's quite a lot out there that can catch us out that we may or may not be aware of. So again, I'm going to try and highlight that to, uh, to, to, um, to a degree. So firstly, let's try and understand why risks are important. Um, so firstly, what's a data center? It's a building or an area of a building whose entire purpose in life is to provide secure, highly available and reliable, re reliable IT services. We, we sometimes forget that. We sometimes forget that the purpose of a data center is not just to provide power and cooling. It's actually support the, the, the IT services that sit within that data center. Um, so with that said, why is it so difficult? Well, IT equipment is actually a lot more um, sensitive than humans. With humans, you know, they'll tolerate a, a fair degree of discomfort even when, when the cooling's not quite right. Uh, you know, we've got a, fi a fairly wide tolerance in, in terms of temperature and humidity requirements. Um, we don't mind if the power goes out too much. It may stop us doing our job temporarily, but it's not going to kill us. Uh, but with, with IT equipment, it's very, very different. Um, they require very stable power. Um, remember that a UPS both conditions power as well as providing battery autonomy. It's not just there to keep the power on, it's actually there to make sure the power is right. Um, there are lots of warranties, uh, IT equipment warranties based on very narrow environmental operating envelopes. You know, ASHRAE is obviously the, uh, the, the, uh, the reference behind that. And we've obviously got huge expectations from businesses to keep uh, to keep those applications up available and, and running. In many cases, if applications in data centers were to fail, there's a strong chance that the business itself would fail. And we have a very, very multidisciplined environment. We have different disciplines in the data center. You know, we tend to operate in a very siloed manner. We have the IT guys. Even the IT guys tend to be split between themselves a little bit, you know, the network guys may or may not talk to the storage guys and the hardware guys may not talk to the software guys so we've got that element going on and then we've got the facility side of things where you know it's quite possible that um uh, it, you know the the two sides of the house the facilities and the it side of the house are talking very very different languages and, and actually may not communicate at all um I, i'm going to the, the the presentation i've got is very content rich so i'm not going to read off everything i'm not going to go through every line in this um it would take far too long I'm assuming that you know everybody in the call can uh, can read a lot of this for themselves, but um, I'm just going to sort of set the tone on each each slide rather than reading through everything. But the one thing I would say on this is that the 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 requirement for 24 by 365 operation actually makes things very difficult. Uh, if you think of the analogy with an aircraft, with, with an aircraft, an aircraft will be run for several hours, it may be hundreds of hours, whatever. Uh, but then at, that, at some point, that aircraft is taken out of service, it's put into a hangar, it's effectively taken apart, it's checked over, it's to some degree rebuilt, um, and then it's, you know, it's, it's deemed to be fit for purpose, everything on that, that, uh, on that aircraft is checked for wear and tear, and then it's put back into service, and, and as a result, aircraft are incredibly reliable and incredibly safe. In the day centre world, we don't really get that luxury. You know, we don't really have the opportunity to necessarily turn things off. We, we, we have to keep things going. So the analogy I use is, is when we're trying to sort of operate and maintain data centres, it's almost like trying to you know, replace the engine on an aircraft when it's actually in the air. Um, so so it's, it's not easy to do, not easy to do at all. And moving on to the next slide. Another reason that data centers are so challenging is, you know, we all want to be cost efficient. We all want to reduce the cost both to our business, we want to reduce the overheads, um, but also we want to reduce the cost to customers. Obviously, we're in a competitive environment, but the more costs we take out, the more we value engineer, the more we introduce risk. You know, it's very easy to have a data center with, with low levels of resilience. And of course, that's going to cost you less money to build because there's going to be less, 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 less capital plant installed. Um, so that's very, you know, really quite easy. The trouble is, as you do that, you tend to introduce more risk. So there's a, there's a, there's a balance. There's a balance between cost and risk. Uh, and that makes life very difficult. It makes life very challenging. You know, value engineering can introduce a great deal of risk. So that's something we have to be very, very aware of. Um, 
and many data centers, particularly public sector, uh, I'm not sure about the US, but certainly in the UK and Europe, uh, you know, the public sector, some of our more critical data centers really don't have the budget to maintain things properly. So, you know, we face significant risk in many cases.